Wallace, with the performance of his life, came into Australia and got the dub. So congratulations to him. Hey, he was doing an amazing job. It seemed like he had a lot of confidence in there. But the the beginning of the fight, I mean, Chevalier's his plan fighting off the back foot, it just looked awkward for him. It just didn't seem like that's something that he should do. But especially against a, a very tall fighter in Wallace. But hey, um Chevalier came back in the eighth round, ninth round, and tenth round with this second win, started to make it a little interesting. In fact, in the 10th round, Chevalier actually came through with some mean body shots, some shots that actually did hurt Wallace, and Wallace was holding on for dear life. Uh, Fortunately for Wallace, the time ran out, and he was able to get the victory, and he was able to run away for dear life. (laughs) So, so, uh, yeah, Chevalier, he just... I don't know. It's like the game plan was just to fight off the back foot, which I don't think he should have done at all. Um, But yeah, when he did go downstairs, he obviously had the power and Wallace's chink in the armor was the body. So they Wallace's corner disguised it well and and got the victory. Well deserved. So great job. Congratulations out to all the Irish fans and supporters that came out. Uh, with Wallace down to Australia. So yeah, good stuff. Good win. Good victory. So we got one more fight before the main event. And yeah, man, we here. We all the way up, man. So it's a good morning over here, but it's late at night over in Australia. So with that being said, as always, peace, one love. We out of here.